Hello everyone, this video is on how to deploy the serv servlets with the web server. So before getting into execution of servlet program with web server, we will go through the basics about uh, servlets. So Java servlets, servlets are the Java programs that runs on the Java enabled web server and application server or application server. So they are used to handle the request obtained from the web server, process the request, produce the response and then sends back the response to the web server. And execution of servlets. Uh, uh, involves six basic steps. Uh, the client will have to send the request to the web server. The clients will be sending the request from the web browser to the web server. The web server receives the request. The web server passes the request to the corresponding servlet and then the servlet processes the request and uh, generates the response in the form of the output and the servlet sends back the response to the web server. The web server sends the response back to the client and the client browser displays it on the screen. So this is the pictorial representation of the previous slide. The web browser from the client side will be sending the request to the web server. The web server will be identifying the corresponding servlet program and to, uh, and passes the request to the servlet program. The servlet program will process the request or uh, manipulates the request and uh, generates an output and that output will be sent to the web server and the web server will be sending that output in the form of HTTP response back to the web server. The web server will be displaying that output to the client. So this is the simple process. So to deploy servlets with the web server, we require two softwares, one is uh, Java JDK and another one is uh, Tomcat. We are using JDK 8 and Tomcat 8 versions uh, and we will require two files to execute the servlet program. One is the servlet program by itself and another one is the XML file uh, to create the formatting of that uh, response. So servlet program, I have a pre-typed program here. So this is the servlet program. Here we are generating a message hello world and uh, this hello world will be formatted and put in the uh, put that message into the html file uh, so we we'll, uh, in server program we have uh, three phases one is the initialization phase and another one is uh, uh, the handling of the message phase and another one is the destroy phase so in the initialization phase uh, we are generating the message hello world and i'm storing that hello world in a, a string called message and uh, this one will be sent to the html with the out dot println and we are formatting that um, message and uh, that resp that will be sent through the response uh, object so this response and request objects are http servlet request and http response uh, servlet responses objects for http servlet request and http servlet response so through this response message i am sending that message to the content type html okay and i have a destroy phase for that uh, as well um, and i have saved this program in uh, save this program and now I will let me compile this program. So, Java C. So, now I have compiled this program and uh, a class file would have been generated now. Okay. So, uh, we have compiled it and uh, I will have to create a web apps folder in the Tomcat um, file. So, I will go to that folder. Okay here we go here we have web apps so in program files i have uh, apache uh, tomcat and in tomcat i have web apps so here i'll create a folder new folder so i'll create uh, i'll use a name srm so in this i'll be creating another folder in uppercase web hyphen information inf web information and uh, inside this i'll be creating another folder classes so inside this i'll have to paste my class file so here in the documents i have that class file okay this is uh, the executed one for the java servlet program so class file i have i'll copy this copy this and I'll be pasting it that web by NF classes okay now so we have created a, a web by NF and then within that classes and class file has been created now I'll have to create a XML file so the XML file need to have a servlet name servlet class and the URL pattern so I'll show you that XML file so here I have that XML file. 
so web app uh, general tag i have created so servlet tag and servlet mapping tags are here pairs are here so in servlet tag i am creating a name servlet name my servlet and uh, servlet classes the class name is hello world so this is the class name we are going to utilize the compiled program and uh, this class rep this name represents this class and uh, with this name i am creating a url pattern uh, the url pattern should start with a slash forward slash uh, and whatever url you you, you prefer first or hello i'll use so i'll be saving this inside the program files i'll be going to tomcat 8.5 and the web apps folder inside that srm web inf so here i'll be saving that xml file dot xml save okay now i have saved it and now let me check for the tomcat execution okay i'll start start up the tomcat okay now it has started let me check it localhost colon 8080 i can check the tomcat execution yes it is executed and uh, in manage app i could find uh, the, the all the services so here uh, my url name is srm slash hello now it is the hello world has been displayed so this hello world message has been returned in uh, the program i'll show you the program so here uh, we have written the hello world message and we have formatted that hello world message and a html file and uh, the content has to be in the form of html and uh, here with this xml document we are calling up that uh, partial uh, that class file and we are showing it in the we are throwing that content to the tomcat server so this is how we could execute the servlet program so thank you bye